Hello, my name is Antonio Chavis. I am from Greenville, North Carolina. I grew up in a little town right outside of Greenville called Snow Hill, North Carolina. I grew up in a house of two, uh, me and my little brother. Um, we, we wasn't church going family, but we believe in the Lord. Um, I started coming to church at Impact uh, approximately like a month ago. I've been, my wife's been trying to get me to go to church forever and I just, you know, I got that notion that I wanted to go to church. So I, you know, we didn't really have a church home here in Wilmington, North Carolina. So I decided let's take a chance with Impact. And that was one of the best decisions I ever made. I never, we never went to church as a family um, as I was growing up. Around about middle school age, I started playing football. And then football was my love. I was like, wow, I'm good at this. And, and you know, I think I was around about eighth grade. Um, we had a concert. I joined a club called um, FCA, Fellowship Christian Athletes. And one night we had a concert. And, and right at the end of the concert, our, um, who was it? One of the, one of the people within the um, FCA organization was praying and um, she said a prayer and at the end of the prayer she said if you want to give your heart to Jesus stand up now come up now and give your life to Jesus wow I said wow I can be the man on the football field I can might as well add good Lord in, in the same equation so I stood up I went up there you know she prayed with me and you know she said you know you're born again you, you know you're a saved man now saved young man you know, live right and enjoy your your new life. You know, I took that, went home, and you know, I was excited. I told my grandmother about it, and she said, "You know, I've been praying." And she said, "I've been praying for you to say you was gonna get saved because my childhood was real rocky. Um, as a child, before I joined the FCA, getting back a little bit, I wasn't." always getting in trouble. I want that trouble kid, but I walk, trouble will always find me. You know, I went home with the grandmother and I think we went to church that following Sunday. That was on a Friday night. We went to church that following Sunday. And from that day, I probably didn't attend church no more. Probably about a year after that. It was Easter Sunday the next time I went. That following Easter, that was in March when that happened. And you know, from from the FCA meeting, I didn't really take it serious. You know, I was like, you know, okay, I joined, I, I got saved because I really didn't know the meaning of being saved. Okay, fast forward a couple years, I'm married. I got five beautiful kids, got a beautiful wife. Um, my wife, she encouraged us to go to church, and one day we went to church, and uh, we had an altar call. And you know, here we go, Antonio said, wow, I need Jesus back in my life again. I've been off track, now it's my time to get back on track. So I walked to the altar and I rededicated my life back to Jesus for the second time, for the first time. And you know, I really, you know, I ended up right back in the same old situation because then nothing really happened after that. You know, I, ended up going back to work. My wife kept trying to get me to go back to church. I said, baby, I got to work. I got to be a provider for my family. And, you know, lo and behold, a year or two went by, I still didn't go back to church. I kept coming up with excuses not to come back to church. And finally, about two years ago, um, with my job, I've been on my job, I was on my job for five years, and a promotion came up. And when that promotion came up, my name came up. I mean, a new opening came up and I was in line for that new position. So I interviewed for the job, I prayed to good Lord and I said, Lord, please, you know, bless me with this job and Lord and behold, he did. And the job was a delivery service manager. I was real excited. I said, wow, things is really happening now. You know, I, I, I got a good job, the job that I wanted. I got a wife, I got a beautiful family. Wow, good Lord is looking out for me. And I moved, me and my family moved here in 2013. In 2013, uh, 
I, my wife moved down here and she said, baby, we need to find a church. I said, well, look, let's go back to your old church. So what we did, we went, we left here, like at six o'clock in the morning, drove two hours away. <laughs> it went, we went back to a church and you know, we, we prayed, we had a good time, we fellowship with the you know, friends and family and we came on back to Wilmington. I came on back and a little while passed and you know, I'm, I'm at my job, I'm putting all my heart into my job and, and you know, doing everything right, loving my family. And then things started happening at my job and I couldn't explain why. Wow, I'm doing this right. I'm, 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 I'm not going to church, but I'm reading my Bible. Um, I'm loving the Lord, I'm praying. I'm loving my wife, I'm being a provider. You know, things just kept happening. I'm like, wow, what is going on? What am I missing? My wife finally persuaded me to go to church. I said, baby, we're going to church, let's go to Impact Church. I came to Impact Church and, you know, I, that was treated like royalty. I mean, I come in, they open the doors for me. I looked at my wife, I was like, wow. You know, everybody, you know, you know, spoke to me, you know, won't nobody, you know, looking at me sideways, who is that? You know, they treated me like family, you know, first time seeing me and that made a bit of, big impression on me. I was like, wow. You know, I told my wife, I said, wow, I like this, I like this. And, you know, my kids liked it too, the first time we went. And, you know, I said, well, okay, I get a second time. You know, I did like it, you know. And the second time I came, um, you know, at the end of the service, I looked at my wife, you know, I teared up a little bit. I was like, wow, something's starting to happen. I, I don't know what it is. She was like, what you mean? I was like, I, I don't know. And, um, you know, we went home, we started reading Bible verses and, you know, she helping me understand the word better. And, you know, and I didn't come the third Sunday because I had to work that day. And um, my, fam uh, my wife came and my kids, and she was telling me about, you know, she had a good time and she really, really, you know, liked Impact Church. So Father's Day I came, you know, I came with my chest out. The day is Father's Day, the day is my day. And Pastor Donnie was speaking on a lot of things that really, really, really touched me. I mean, it touched me to the point where I was like, wow. Have my wife been talking to Pastor Donnie about me because he had known some he was hitting on some things that, you know, he was like, he was throwing an arrow and he hit me right in my heart because the things he was saying, it meant so much to me. And I was like, wow, this is it, you know, this is it. So when it was time to pass the card around and, you know, right on the back of the card or what you, you know, what you need, he told us to pass it around and write what you feel. And I wrote on the card, I said, you know, I, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to get baptized. I want to give my life to Jesus. A couple of days later, I met with Daniel in, off, in his office and we talked, you know, he talked about it. He said, um, you know, why you feel like you want to get baptized? And, you know, we went over a few things and, you know, he talked to me, he gave me the gospel. He said, you know, in order to be good with Jesus, you got to surrender yourself. You got to devote your time. You can't continue making decisions on your own. You got to surrender everything to him to him. And you know, he was talking, I was just listening and he had his little pen and diagram and everything and I was like, wow, okay, okay. And you know, I already was feeling this in my heart. And, you know, and I just never really had the, the the person to sit down and talk with me and to show me what I need to do. And I was to a point where he said, you know, do you want to surrender your heart to Jesus and and I did and we both prayed I prayed and I completely completely gave my heart my soul to Jesus I surrendered myself to him and I let go of everything I'm not the driver no more I'm not making decisions anymore every decision to be made is through Christ Christ is going to be my my driver my pilot he's going to be everything so I'm here today to get baptized, to get rid of the old Antonio, and to show the world the new Antonio, not just the Antonio that that always fall back in the same old rut. This is the new Antonio because I gave my life to Jesus Christ, and He's giving me a brand new life and a brand new beginning to show 
that he's going to give me the ability to be a better father. I look forward to being a better father, a better husband, a better person all around, and to be a better servant to him. I'm thankful for my beautiful wife for not giving up on me. To She, she did not give up on me when I gave up on myself. She encouraged me through this whole ordeal. I want to thank my grandmother that prayed for me when I didn't even know she was praying. I figured somebody was praying for me because sometimes I was like, wow, how did I get through that? Um, I want to thank Impact Church for helping me surrender my heart to Jesus Christ. And I want to thank my beautiful kids. I love you.